so today we plan to cover like an, a pretty popular model structure called um, encoder decoder. This is a very popular uh, model architecture. We and so let's see some motivations. During the fine tuning, we already see that for CNN model, we can present as two parts. The convolutional part is called feature extractor. Give an image, I present image as into vector space to present any semantic meanings there. And then fit this vector into a, a dense layer. The dense layer is called classifier and to get the output that we want. So we can think about this way. We can make it into two components. One's called the encoder. The, in, well the, the encoder's job is to, given the raw input data, I present this raw input as intermediate presentation, which kind of capture the semantic meanings this task we want. And this presentation will be good for the neural network to understand, not just for human to understand. So here, it's just a vector. Then the classifier is a decoder. Given the intermediate presentation of the encoder, then I convert this uh, uh, intermediate presentation, which is features, into the output that you want, this task you want, these human-readable things. So the idea here, given the raw input, which is human-readable, convert it into some intermediate thing, is fa in favor for the neural network to, ca to carry all this information, and decode to decoding this neural network, uh, like uh, language or vectors, into the human-readable output. So that is the basic idea. Similarly, like this is the network we just showed a minute ago, given a text, how to get, how to get uh, uh, classification. Uh, here we only show bidirectional RNs. We, are use a, uh, we only show single direction. We actually use a bidirectional, but the idea is pretty simple. That is, given a sentence, we put it into embedding layer, put it into RN layer, then we present as a vector, which is this part can be think as an encoder. We present the whole sequence into a vector which contains the sequential information in this sentence. Then we do a decoder to get the thing we want. It's positive or negative. Okay? So this is so this architect uh, this architecture works well for both the and, uh, and RNs. So then in general, yes, we can think about let's make a, take a name called uh, encoder and decoder. And so here's the idea. For any model, we partition into two parts, the encoder part and the decoder part. The encoder will take the inputs, which is the encoder input, and then present as something we call the state. The state can be anything. It's a vector, it's a lot of other things you can think about state. It's a little bit different to the hidden state of the RN, but they share the same name called state. Uh, if the LSTN, the memory cell, we also call it the state here. So this is the encoder state. Basically, it's any information the encoder want to pass to the decoder. So the decoder maybe take a additional like, input for the decoder. We will show you concrete examples uh, in a minute where you need another input. And then the decoder take the information from encoder and additional input give you the output. So this is the output we want. OK. So let's show how to define such a base class. So we, because this week we all, we, all the models will be based on the encoder decoder, we just show you how to define such an interface. The encoder is pretty similar to a neural network. Like it's a uh, block, and the forward pass given the input x, we will return something. And we didn't, we show, we just raised a not implemented error, which is the interface, because we didn't implement it yet. The difference is for the decoder. The decoder has additional function or method called init state. It takes the encoder's outputs, the any output for the encoder, and with some additional things, like uh, we just call star arc, any additional information you want to pass to the decoder, which we will return a state, will be used for the forward pass of the decoder. So take anything for the encoder, any additional one, just return the state, the initial state. It's very similar to RNN. The RNN always have an initial state to get started with. The forward pass, so the, for the decoder, we have the decoder input and also the state from uh, the encoders. It, we, we return output, 
and then maybe modify the state as R, what we did here. Okay, so once we have the decoder encoder, we can implement the model. Like the model have two parts. The end function we are give you both definition for encoder and decoder. And the for the pass, we will give the encoder input x, the decoder input another x, and uh, some additional things. So doing the for the pass, we first put the encoder input into the encoder, get the output, and using this output, fit into the decode init function, init state function, and with additional argument to get the decode state. And to run the forward of a decode, we just pass in the decode input and the state to get the output. So okay, this is a general way um, for the decode and, uh, encode and decode mode. So different implementation of the encoder and the decoder will give you different models, but the, this model will be the same, the same architecture. Okay, any information, any questions so far? Okay, so 